was a it was a 6 p.m. service actually. Um, you know, that was preaching and and he was bringing up the scripture that says that God is the only one who is worthy of our praise. He's the only one who is worthy of our worship. And I remember that in that moment was such a moment to to create and I could hear all these sounds and I remember that the the piano player was at the sax they were just playing this melody like da -da 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 -da. and I was like whoa like in my head the lyrics or the the you know the words I was hearing from the scripture was just blending with that melody in my head so I didn't even think about it twice I didn't even look at my band I was just kind of like I just sang it out and um it was such a beautiful moment you know um to be able to to write something like that you know and and always you know something comes out from the spirit when the moment that you know one of us starts to sing or God uses us to sing it um that the the people you know the the church just starts singing along like if they knew the song <laughs> and it, it was just born you know so it was it was a really beautiful moment I think any song that we sing to him automatically just catches his attention automatically just makes him like incline his ear and be like oh you know they're singing about me you know and I think that more than anything that's what touches God's heart you know, not so much a lyric or um, the melody, but rather the intention of our heart to truly love him. Jonathan has an amazing gift to write. And, and I think that every time he writes something, I, I was say, talking about it yesterday. Um, you know, every time he writes a lyric or something, it's just like, yes, <laughs> that's it. That's exactly you know what my spirit was feeling into a song you know so um writing this song with him um and having him add on to this flow that came out from the altar um it's really beautiful the context the biblical context that was brought into the song just enhanced what was already something so so dear i think to god's heart This verse um, has really, I think, changed the way I see worship, but also the way I see loving God and honoring God and showing God that I love him no matter what, that I honor him, that he's worthy of all my worship no matter what, you know? And I believe that as a believer, not just a worshiper, as a believer, um, we all need to understand God's heart behind the scripture, you know, that he doesn't demand worship. You know, he is he is worship and we, he deserves the worship. That's why we give it to him, you know, um, and I, I feel like this scripture is just encompasses everything that a worshiper is and not just a singer, but a, a believer, you know, us as worshipers of God, we are to give him everything. We are to give him worship. We are to give him honor. We're to give him praise. We're to give him everything that we are because it's the intention of our heart for him.